Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 357. What is microangiopathic anemia? Microangiopathic anemia is when red blood cells are damaged when passing through obstructed or narrow vessel lumina. So basically the red blood cells are getting damaged when it's trying to squeeze through. Name some conditions that would lead to microangiopathic anemia. Conditions that can lead to microangiopathic anemia include disseminated intravascular coagulation, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura or TTP, HUS which is hemolytic uremic syndrome, lupus and in malignant hypertension. What type of cells would you see if the red blood cells are getting mechanically destructed in case of microangiopathic anemia? In cases of mechanical destruction, you would see formation of schistocytes, which are also known as helmet cells. What is macrocytic anemia? Macrocytic anemia is also a similar concept to that of microcytic anemia, in which there is mechanical destruction. But in macrocytic anemia, the reason for the mechanical destruction is due to prostatic heart valves and aortic stenosis. What characteristic RBCs are seen in macrocytic anemia? Just like microcytic anemia, since macrocytic anemia is also mechanical destruction, this will also lead to formation of schistocytes, which are again known as helmet cells. Name some infections that can lead to hemolytic anemia. The infections that can lead to hemolytic anemia includes malaria and babesia because in both of these conditions there is an increased destruction of red blood cells. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.